Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we will be looking at a vulnerability scanning tool for your Kubernetes cluster. I came across this um, tool, Cube Hunter, uh, from Aqua Security. Let's take a look. Cube Hunter from Aqua Security. So that's their GitHub repo. Um, so you can use this tool, Cube Hunter, to check if there are any vulnerabilities in your um, Kubernetes cluster. So there are a few different ways that you can run this tool. You can download the binary, you can go to the releases page and the latest release is 0 0.3.0. .0. You can download the zip file, extract it or the tar file. Uh, those are the source codes. Or um, you can use pip to install uh, Cube Hunter directly on a machine uh, that has network access to the Kubernetes cluster. All right. So I've got my Kubernetes cluster running on my host machine and uh, the ways that I'm going to show you to use Cube Hunter um, is one is by using Python pip to install Cube Hunter on my host machine. And my host machine has got access to the Kubernetes cluster. So I can do a vulnerability scanning from my host machine. So that's first method. And the second method is you can use a, you can use Cube Hunter as a Docker container. You can start a Docker container and from your host machine and using that you can scan your Kubernetes cluster. Or uh, the third type is you can directly install Cube Hunter. You can run Cube Hunter as a pod inside your Kubernetes cluster, right? So that will tell you what if an attacker uh, gains access into your cluster um, and runs a pod. So from that point of view, uh, we can do vulnerability scanning from inside the cluster, all right? So there are two different approaches. So you can uh, use pip to install Cube Hunter or Docker container on your host machine, which is to do vulnerability scanning from outside the cluster. So what type of access uh, an outsider can get to your Kubernetes cluster. So those type of scanning can be performed by these two methods, pip install and then uh, running as a Docker container. If you want to do the vulnerability scanning inside the uh, cluster, what type of access? Once an attacker gets an access, gets access into your cluster, what sort of access he has got, and what sort of vulnerabilities are exposed? So those kind of things can be done if you deploy Cube Hunter as a pod inside your Kubernetes cluster. So we will look at uh, these two options. First is um, the requirement for uh, running Cube Hunter on a machine is you need to have Python three, not Python two. So Python three and pip install. So I've got pip installed. If I do which pip, pip is there, pip minus minus version, pip minus minus version. So Python 3.8, so I'm running Python 3.8 with pip installed, kubectl version minus minus short. I'm running version 1.17.0, kubectl get nodes. Um, so I'm running Kubernetes in Docker containers and Docker Yes, so those are my three uh, Docker containers, master and two worker nodes. All right, so um, first let's install uh, Cube Hunter. I've already installed it, but the command to install is pip install minus minus user Cube Hunter. So all my requirements are already satisfied because I've already installed it. And if I do which Cube Hunter, so I've got Cube Hunter under dot local bin. Okay. So, cube hunter minus minus help. Um, let's close that. Okay, so these are the list of options that we can do. So, how do you run cube hunter? So, now given we've installed cube hunter on our local machine, and from this machine we've got access to the Kubernetes cluster, and now we're going to do some uh, scanning to see what vulnerabilities we have. Okay, so um, if we do a minus minus list, it's going to display all the tests in the Kubernetes uh, cluster that Cube Hunter can perform. So let's do that. Cube Hunter minus minus list. And if I pipe that to less, passive Hunter. So it can do HCD service check, check for the existence of HCD service, check for the existence of dashboard, this API services, host discovery, uh, proxy discovery, port scanning. Uh, so these are the list of tests or scans that it's going to perform. Okay. 
Um, let's let's start doing it. Just type cube hunter and press enter. That's it. So we've got three types of scanning: remote scanning, interface scanning, and IP range scanning. Let's do them one by one. So first, if you take a look at remote scanning, cube. Uh, sorry, you need to specify the option. So let's choose one. Remotes separated by a comma. So comma separated list of IP address or DNS names of any of the nodes in your Kubernetes cluster. So um, if I do kubectl get nodes minus o wide. So those are my nodes and they are in this network range 172.17.0.4, 3 and 2. So I can say 172.17.0.3 for example. So I'm doing a scanning, vulnerability scanning on one of my worker node. So kind worker. So that's one of the worker node. Okay. And if I do that, it's starting the scanning now and it has done, it has finished the scanning. So it has discovered the kubelet API, kubelet service running on that node, the IP address of the node and the service location, uh, the description kubelet is the main component in every node. Okay and the port that this service is running on, the kubelet service, okay? But it says no vulnerabilities were found. We don't have, the, so that's a good thing. We don't have any vulnerabilities exposed from outside the cluster. So nobody can um, attack this particular node, worker node. Okay, so let's do the same testing um, in our master node. And if I do cube hunter, again, I'm gonna choose one a remote scanning option and the IP address of my master node. And if you want to do multiple scan at the same time, you can specify them by comma 172.17.0.4. I guess that's my master node. Let's see. So yeah, I think that's the master node. And if you scroll above, it can, it has discovered etcd, kubelet, API server, and so on. And if you look here, the type is service type of service, type of service, but here the type is vulnerability. So it has found one vulnerability, okay? Node uh, detected services and vulnerability. So we have one vulnerability. The vulnerability category is information disclosure. So that's the IP address of my master node and that's the port, the API service is running. And the vulnerability is k version disclosure. So anyone can get a uh, what version of Kubernetes that I'm running, okay? Description, the Kubernetes version could be obtained from the slash version endpoint, evidence. So this Cube Hunter program has found that I'm running version 1.17.0. So that's, that's one of the vulnerability by scanning the master node. So if you hit the API endpoint slash version, you can find what version of Kubernetes I'm running. That's considered as one of the vulnerability, okay? And if I do again Cube Hunter remote scanning 172.42, sorry, 172.17.0.4. If you want to do multiple hosts, 172.17.0.3. So now we are doing discovery on two services. And you can see here it has scanned two nodes. Okay, that's cool. Let's do. Uh, the help command again cube hunter minus minus help um, so minus minus report so uh, the output that is produced we can have it in a different format plain either plain yaml or in json let's try that cube hunter minus minus remote you don't have to go into the interactive mode if you just type cube hunter it's going to ask you what type of scanning you're going to perform and on what um, IP address or what DNS name. So you can also pass it in the command line here. Cube Hunter minus minus remote. Don't worry about the part. Okay, so Cube Hunter, we are doing a remote scanning with just the option one and we are passing the IP address of our master node. So that's going to give us the same output that we got earlier. And if I say minus minus report YAML, it's going to give me in a YAML format. Cool, so that's YAML format. And we can also have a JSON format. So that's JSON format. And if we go to the help, 
um plain yaml json that's all looking good um minus minus statistics let's see what it does uh, let's take away the report format and do statistics it, it basically gives you more information so this table here hunter statistics that's an extra information which you can get by passing minus minus statistics and apart from the normal output we got from our earlier commands it gives us extra information so name of the statistic and the vulnerability is found so everything is zero except this one api version number tries to obtain the api service version directly from the endpoint so i don't know why it's saying two okay so that's cool so what we've done is we've used cube hunter from our host machine so how about uh, deploying this cube hunter as a pod inside our Kubernetes cluster. Let's do that. So for that, if you go to cube hunter GitHub repo, you will have a sample uh, job specification that you can deploy in your cluster. So here is the job dot yaml, and if you go to raw, copy the URL. Let's close this kubectl get all we don't have anything now kubectl create minus f paste that url lost the url cube hunter job dot yaml copy paste Okay, so that's a job, and if I do watch kubectl get all, the container is getting created. So that's the cube hunter container. It's a job, completion is zero. So the job hasn't been completed. Completion, so the job is set to run one time. So at the moment it's pulling the container and status is running. It's doing the scanning at the moment. And very soon it will be completed, and then we can look at the results. So the way to look at the results is to look at the logs of this particular part. If I copy that pod name, let's wait for this job to complete and then we can look at the pod, the logs from that part. Okay, so that's completed. kubectl logs, the name of the part, and you get the same information now. So basically, um, you get all the results from the scanning, started hunting, discover discovering all the services types of vulnerabilities found so now you can see here that it has found more vulnerabilities right uh, because we are running this part inside the container and you can see here uh, the type of vulnerability is information disclosure access to api using service account token access to parts secret read access to parts service account Gate is version disclosure, which we saw earlier. Cap net raw enabled, which means um, enabled by default. If an attacker manages to compromise a pod, they could potentially take advantage of this capability to perform network attacks on other pods running on the same node. So that's a vulnerability. Accessing the pod's secrets within a compromised pod might disclose valuable data. So. As you can see here, when you're running Cube Hunter within the cluster, you get to know lots of vulnerabilities that you can uh, deal with. For example, uh, each of these vulnerabilities have got an ID. So if I copy the ID, Control C, which is gate as version disclosure, you can also uh, go to the URL here, open link. And here we have the list of vulnerabilities. Okay, and if I search for that, there you go. That's the vulnerability issue description. The fact that your infrastructure is using Kubernetes and the specified specific version of Kubernetes used is publicly available. It could be used by an attacker to target your environment with known vulnerabilities in the specific version of Kubernetes you are using. So if they happen to know what version of Kubernetes you are running, uh, they might already know what vulnerabilities are there in that particular version of Kubernetes and then they can use that. So remediation, disable, they also give us uh, a solution. So you can follow this, how to disable 
uh, the debugging handlers and then run the scanning again to see if things have improved and so on. Okay. What else? So I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Cube Hunter is a cool little utility which I came across recently uh, from Aqua Security. There's also another tool called Cube Bench, uh, which I'll be doing in my next video. Okay. So give this a go and let me know if you've got any questions. I'll be happy to help. If you've got uh, any questions, uh, don't hesitate to put in the comments. And I will, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.